What is the right amount of battery capacity for van life? An age old question. Well, not really, because there's an easy answer to that. But before we get into that, I just want to say we've toured over 70 different rigs over the past couple of years, and we're gonna take a look at what most people run for a battery capacity. And just a heads up, this isn't a technical video on how to set up your battery system, but we will go over some really important points to help you with your build. So first up, I want to compile a list of all of the battery systems we've seen in the past 70 tours, and then figure out what was the largest, what was the smallest, and what was the most average amount of battery capacity for a build. Now, the biggest system that we saw was from Outside Van and their build called Launchpad. Outside Van is a really amazing van builder and they actually had 630 amp hours of usable lithium battery on board. Now, that is a ton of capacity and it's for the right reason because in this build, they have everything. It's all the all nine yards of every single thing you'd ever want in a van build. Now to put 630 amp hours in perspective, what we see on average through a van build is 200 amp hours. So whether it's AGM or lithium, most of the time we see a build with 200 amp hours of a battery system. Now, what was the smallest amount of capacity that we've seen from a build? Well, funny enough, the smallest capacity was 12 amp hours of battery capacity. That's because it was coming from a Jackery 150 Explorer. So this is a portable power station. Now, before you go and judge the 12 amp hours as a van life battery decision, think of it this way. Having a portable battery system like Jackery running your fridge and lights is a really smart hack. It's a cheap way to enter van life and you can always upgrade as needed. Here's Nikki and Connor with their build. Hi, I'm Nikki. I'm Connor and we're from London, Ontario. And this is our 08 Sprinter Big Blue. Here we have our electrical system, which is a Jackery Power Box 500, um, which are very popular in the van life community. Um, but this box we actually have powering our entire system. Um, so it charges our lights, it charges our, our fantastic fan, it charges our fridge. So this is all well and good, but you might be wondering what do we personally run in our van build? Let's take a look. So this is our battery system in the garage of our van. As you can see here, we have our five 100 amp hour lithium battle -borne batteries. So we have a combined capacity of 500 amp hours. Now that is a lot of capacity. We made sure to do this because we live off grid all the time, 24 seven, 365 days a year. With batteries, there's a couple different types. You've got your lead acid, which is in your car. You've got your AGM deep cycles, which say is more marine applications. Then you've got lithium, which are the more expensive. The difference between AGM and lithium is that on AGM, you can only use about 50% of that battery capacity. If it's a 100 amp hour AGM battery, you only really have 50 amp hours of usable capacity. On lithiums, you've got 100% usable capacity. You can drain it 100%. Now I did, I did say I wasn't going to be super technical in this video, but I do want to show you what else is in our system here, just so you have an idea of what we've got. Here is our Victron 3000 watt inverter. It's an inverter charger. So we charge off of our generator when our solar isn't meeting our standards. Like right now when it's uh, winter time, there's not a lot of sun. So we can charge off that. And this is running from about 7 a.m to about 11 p.m. every day. It's running our laptops, our internet, uh, anything that's 120 volt, in, in addition to our 12 volt stuff like our fridge, our lights, that sort of thing. Up here is our MPPT solar charge controller. It's a 50 amp. And on our solar setup, as I mentioned in our previous solar video, we run 600 watts of solar to keep it charged up. And as I did mention in that video, it's winter time and you really don't get a lot of sun. So that's why we charge up on our generator a lot of the time. 
And the last thing I wanna say about this setup is don't be scared about setting up your build. I know it's kind of cliche that everyone says there's a lot of resources out there for van life. There really is. If you are kind of nervous about doing electrical, don't worry, there are so many resources, there are so many things you can learn about how to do your system, so don't be worried about it. Now let's go ahead and look at what a battery system looks like when it's built by van life builders who are professionals. That way you can get an idea of what a modern professional system looks like. Hi, I'm James and I'm the owner of Vanovation. Um, we're based in Squamish, BC, and this is our latest latest build. It's a Transit um, 148 Extended. And yeah, let's dive on inside and I'll take you around. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at the electrical system that we've got in this build. So it sits, lives under this bench. And again, 8020 um, box we've built here. Um, we've got 400 amp hours of lithium in parallel. And then, yeah, Victron components used throughout with a mixture of blue sea things. But the 3000 watt inverter, you've got the Lynx distributor, which is like a big fuse panel for all the main um, gubbins down here. Obviously, the main isolator switch if you leaving the van for a period of time. Um, solar, a solar charger, DC to DC, um, and then you've got a, a bunch of Bluetooth on off switches here. So you can actually, through the Victron Connect app, disconnect the solar or disconnect the DC to DC. And then obviously you've got the 120 distribution, which comes over to, I don't know, the cooktop and the fridge and um, the hot water heater. And you can just flick these on and off. And this is a Blue C. Um, 120 and the 12 volts down here. So as I said, there's actually an easy answer to the question, what is the right amount of battery capacity for van life? And that answer is the bigger, the better. Whether you're running AGM or lithium, the more amp hours you have in your battery setup is the better because you can go longer off the grid. You can stay in the back country longer. You can go longer without charging up. Whether you have a solar, uh, whether you're charging up on your solar panels or you're charging up on your alternator, it's always better to have more of a battery capacity because you can always go longer. That being said, I know it is tough to have a huge amount of battery system. It's a lot of money. For lithium, for instance, about 100 amp hours of lithium is $1,000 plus Canadian, sometimes $1,500 Canadian just for one battery that's 100 amp hours. So it's a ton of money to spend, but you kind of have to weigh your options and know what is most important to you. Now that's it for this week, but if you haven't yet seen our video on ways to save money on the road, make sure you do because some really important details there that could help you save money down the line and you could be maybe adding more battery system to your build. That's always an option. So until next time, safe travels.